Welcome back to Brownlow Books, where I have a review for you of probably one of the worst books I've ever read in my life. Which says a lot. <laughs> because I read a lot of shit books on purpose. So, we have Looker by Laura Sims. It is short. It is billed as a thriller. It sure as fuck isn't. It is boring as fuck. There is nothing thriller about this. Stop calling everything a thriller just because someone has, like, dark fucking thoughts, okay? I, I don't even want it. Mm. Number one. Number fucking one. Reason I hate this. Protagonist murders her ex-husband's cat. She doesn't want him to have the cat. She kills the cat. Okay? So, like, if you're like, oh, I can deal with, like, some shit, but you can't deal with that, don't read the fucking book. You, I, I don't want you to read it anyways. But, like, if you're like, oh, well, I have to read it to be sure, and then your trigger is hugely animal cruelty, it's don't read the fucking book. It is not. It is not. So, <laughs> basically, <laughs> I'll give you a synopsis now. Um, it's built as this woman becoming obsessed with, like, her actress neighbor and her perfect family. I don't know why I got that billing. <laughs> it is really um, a woman who has been left by her husband because she cannot have children becoming obsessed with the perfect family that is this actress's family across the street. And then like slowly going insane watching said family. Like the woman puts out, you know, a box of things free on the street, as you do in this city, this unnamed city with our unnamed protagonist, our unnamed actress, just fucking no one. No one in this book has a fucking name except for the neighbor. And even that's Mrs. H. Like, no. <laughs> Side the point. <laughs> like, just literally takes everything, starts stealing things from outside of her home that aren't being put out. And it's just like, this slow descent into madness. And she like, gets angry at her ex-husband and kills the cat, like I said, and she sleeps with one of her students because she's a teacher and she sleeps with one of her students at the university and he gets in trouble for that. And it's just like, boring as fuck. It reminds me, <laughs> it reminds me of The Almost Moon by Alice Siebold, which is one of the worst books I've ever read as well. <laughs> Where it's just like, this person is, uh, is fucking obnoxious and immature and making the dumbest decisions of their fucking life. And we're just like watching them do it, bored as fuck. Like, it's, it's one of those. It is absolutely one of those. Uh, like I said, thankfully it's short, so, like, I didn't waste a whole lot of time on it, but, like, even though it's short, there was so much of it that could be cut out. Like, it was unnecessary. This whole book is unnecessary, if I'm being real. So, like, there is this, like, mild stalking element to it, but, like, there's no excitement either. Like, there's no tension, there's no, like, ooh, is she gonna get caught? Like, it's just, like, no. Like, it's... There's, there's no tension. There is nothing interesting happening. You're just watching this woman become obsessed with an actress who lives across the street from her and is the perfect family. And, like, obsessing over her fucking ex-husband leaving her. How dare he leave her because she can't have children? Like, yes, I agree. <laughs> but, like... Also, ex-husband, why the fuck didn't you take your cat with you when you left? Just saying. Just saying. So, yeah. All of this leads... <laughs> fucking huge spoilers, but, like, you're not gonna read it, so it's fine. Huge fucking spoiler. She, like, goes to confront her when she's jogging one day in the street and was like, Oh, we need to be friends. Oh, my God, you're perfect. Like, right. Like, this is, like, after she's, like, actually, like, freaked her out twice now. And she's like, oh my god, and she's like pounding on the door, like, the woman gets into her house and she's pounding on the door and she's like, why is she on the phone? What are you doing? Get out here, like, whatever. And then, like, the elderly woman from next door comes over and she's like, leave her alone, what are you doing? And she's just like, fuck you, bitch, and pushes her and she falls down ten, ten steps. Concrete. Brownstone. <laughs> and you hear a sickening thud. And then the book ends. Yeah! Right then and there! Did she kill her? Did she not? She certainly fucking killed the cat. She certainly scared the shit out of the actress and probably her children, as well as some of the help. So yeah, um, I don't know. Just all together, it's just pointless. It's pointless. It has just over 7,000 ratings on Goodreads. 
<laughs> comes to a 3.06, which I think is hella fucking generous. Uh, there are people giving it like four stars and I'm like, why? But yeah, the predominance of it is three stars and then a few of, a few of, I'm going to pe- people I'm calling my babes, my babes who are giving it the one and the two stars who are like, what the fuck did I just read? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck did I just read? What was the fucking point? <laughs> this has been on my shelf for quite some time. Not gonna lie. I've been doing some rearranging. I came across it again and I went, you know, it's short. I'm gonna get it over with now. Like, get it over with. Not not what I actually meant. Just like, I'm gonna read it now. It's short. It's a nice transition to like whatever I'm doing next. Not a problem. Problem. <laughs> I just, no, <laughs> no. So yeah, overall, I would just say avoid. Avoid. It's pointless. (laughs) It's so pointless. No suspense. No action. Just that creepy neighbor where you're like, I don't want to fucking talk to them. (laughs) So yeah, do not recommend. If you enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you around next time.